You're welcome to NAP Events Consult. My name is Preba, and I'm going to take you through how to do a simple single bead for every occasion. Let me show you the things you need. You obviously need a pearl. In my case, I'm going to add some crystals. You need a plier, a cutter. If you do not have this cutter, you can use a pair of scissors or you can use this type of cutter also. You need what we call a round nose. You need your tape measure. We of course need a hook and something to stop the hook. And then you are good to go. So let's get started. We first going to cut our pearls. Cut it this way. And then, because I'm going to combine the pearls with the crystals, I will pour out my crystals also. And believe me, we are going to do this very quickly so that you do not have to spend much time. But as a first timer, you can obviously take your time and I'm going to help you do that. And we'll do it bit by bit. And there we go. This is our fish line, which we are going to use in the threading. So, I take my tape. And then for a, a standard size, we are going to do about 17 inches. So, we'll double our thread. And in this case, I'm going to take um, 50 because I want to be on the safer side. I do not want to short thread in the way. So I do my cutting. The first thing we are going to do is to fix our hook. So I'll get my hook. And then I need a couple of stoppers. This type of hook I'm using, as you can see, is called a press hook. It is the easiest you can get. And our necklace is already looking good. We are going to introduce the stopper again and then the other part of the press hook we didn't use. We'll go through and then back through the stopper. Once that is established and you assure your necklace is well tightened, aided by your plier again, you stop the hook by pressing it and flattening it. Once it is flattened, you use your round nose to further flatten it. And then the excess thread, you make sure that you pass it through about three pearls. About three of the pearls this way. Because we do not want to cut, we want to secure some part of the thread before we cut. So we go through the first one, and then we'll go through the second, and then we are going to go through the last pair. So now that our thread is gone through, we are going to cut the excess thread off. And 
voila, our necklace is ready of our choice. And this is our necklace. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to do an earring for an occasion. But here we have our necklace ready and I'm sure you enjoyed yourself. Visit us on Facebook, NAP Events Consult. Follow us uh, on Twitter and then Instagram. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.